I don't know if I can see her from here. Can you see her? <laughs> no, I can't, but I see pretty fireworks. Yeah, the fireworks are nice. I just I just think that uh, Patty, is that her name? Pretty Patty? No, um, Party. Party? Party? Pa pa Patricia? Penelope. Oh, Penelope! Penelope, Penelope Party! party. Yeah, Man, because we're supposed to find her and she's supposed to tell us about uh, uh, the, the the person we're talking The Grand Marshal. The Grand Marshal, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, her name is Ruth. Yes. Ruth, Ruth, yeah. Yes. Oh, look at that one. Oh, that was so you pretty. You know what my favorite fireworks are? The ones that go like weeping well. It's like, oh, those are nice. Yeah. Those are nice. So today in our lesson, we're going to be talking about Ruth. Yes. And that the big idea is God gives me... Leaders. Leaders. That I can follow. That I can follow. Just like we're we're trying to fall, find... Follow and find. Follow and find. <laughs> Penelope, Penelope party. party. So she can tell us about Ruth. Yes. All right, exactly. well, let's let's see if we can Ooh, find them. Maybe over here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pastor Trish. Hey, Pastor Scott. It's it week is four. Week four. Of our memory verse. I think we got this. I think we got this. I think they've got this. Mm -hmm. Good job, guys. Okay. But I don't think Pastor Scott knows the motions. I don't know the motions, <laughs> but I don't think you know all the words. Yes, I do. No, you don't. So let's put them on the screen. Okay. Okay. They're on the there screen. There they are. Now watch this. Okay, that was a fun little beat. I like that. Okay, every time I clap though, we're gonna make some <gasps> like that. Oh man, you're doing that again. You're yeah, taking ready. away my words. One, two, three, oh, oh, yeah. oh. Okay, we, we got this. You got this. It's week four, it's not yeah. week one. You got it. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Okay. <laughs> one, two, three. And what does the Lord require of you to act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Micah 6, 8. Oh, are you taking away more words? Oh no, I'm just clapping because I was so, you You're did such a great job with those motions. Yeah. I was like, way yeah. to go, Pastor Trey. Yeah, uh -huh. You are well, amazing. You are taking away more no, words. I was giving you words of affirmation. I was telling you, you did a great job. Give yeah. me a high five. Great job, look at that, see? You took away, we can do this. Of course we can. Yeah. We can do this. Uh, I, they're all up. Oh, they're all gone. All right, you try to do some moves. I'm gonna I'll try to do I'm gonna this. try to do some moves. Okay, ready? One, two, three. And what does the Lord require of you to act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God? Micah 6, 8. Micah you did six. so good. Yes. Boys and girls, you get to act, love, and walk. Micah 6, 8 teaches us those three commands. Act, love, and walk. This is Penelope Party, and I am on location at Studio 222. And today we have a wonderful, fabulous guest that we get to hear more of her story. Welcome, Ruth, to Grace Kids today. Hi, Penelope. Thank you so much for having me today. I'm so excited to be with you. We are so excited to hear more of your story. Now, your story seems like it was a fairy tale, but I know that our friends would love to hear more of your story in your own words. Yes, so I was born in Moab, and then I got married, and he immigrated to my country from Bethlehem. And it was really, really great for 10 years. And then sadly, he passed away, and so did his brother. So it was just me, my mother-in-law, and my sister-in-law. I am so sorry to hear that, Ruth. Thank you. Now, that must have been very, very tough, but how did you end up back in Bethlehem? Well, my mother-in-law, Naomi, she was so sweet to us, and, and she's mm -hmm. always been like a mother, so I just knew I had to stick by her and take care of her. Wow, that was incredibly brave of you, Ruth. You are such a leader. <sighs> and you barely even knew much of God when you went with Naomi, is that mm -hmm. right? Yes, and it might seem extreme to some people, but I just knew, 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 knew that I had to follow Naomi. Wow, that was such a good thing. And against all odds, you ended up remarrying someone. Um, mm -hmm. What was his name? Boaz. Mm -hmm. And now you and Boaz, you have a child, is that right? Yes, and his name is Obed. 
Oh, that sounds amazing. Sounds like God took your life and took it in a fabulous direction. Mm -hmm. And God gives us leaders that we can follow. This has been Penelope Party. Remember, you can be a leader too. Signing off till next time. So as we pray today, let's remind ourselves again what our big idea is. Our big idea is this, God gives me leaders I can follow. As we learned about the story of Ruth, so let's pray together. Jesus, we love you. And Lord, we thank you for the stories we learn in your word. We thank you for the story of Ruth. We thank you for her faithfulness. And Lord, how she went with her mother-in-law, Naomi. Lord, wherever she went, we thank you, Lord, that we have people in our lives that we can look to, to follow, to lead us in the right path. We pray this in your name. Amen.